Hello everyone. Welcome to a random stream of fun. This is old games, this is good games. Uh, I was inspired uh, to check out some uh, other horizontally scrolling shoot 'em ups for the Super Nintendo after playing um, Project X on the Amiga, just to see what sort of comparable 16-bit stuff there was, uh, particularly released before uh, Project X was, which was in 1992. So, well, I do want to check and make sure, okay. Hey, Pixels. So I thought I'd start with Gradius 3 and see how it holds up against the competition. Now, of course, Gradius 3 is a um, is a port of an arcade game. So we got game level, normal, hard, easy. Let's go with easy. Hey, Michael. Shot a missile power up. Okay. I like that. Auto mood, shot on, power up. Hmm. Maybe we do want to leave that off. Ooh, stereo or mono. We're stereo household here. How's it going, guys? Pixels, you still in the Cotswolds? Looks like we have some choice here. This is pretty cool. Edit mode. Oh, man. This is already awesome. So not only can you choose the order that you get your power-ups in, but you also get to uh, choose what they are. Hawkwind. How do I do this? Okay. And... Yeah, I'd say... Probably the double shot. Like the ripple. One of those. Force field. And the full barrier. Alright, let's do this thing. Well, welcome home, Pixels. It's nice to go away, but it's nice to come back. So, so far, so familiar. Even down to the uh, voice sample. Although you don't have anyone goading you to speed up. Not only do we have m multiple... Oh, that's a, that's a shame. That I don't get to keep. Now, so I guess the, the power-ups don't stack in this version, which is unfortunate. The South Downs, absolutely. Uh, I believe that that's, that's just south of the Mithril Gate. So we're getting some pretty significant slowdown as that thing, uh, this dragon thing comes around. Okay, so I guess some of the things stack, but your double shot and your my ripple didn't didn't stack. Yeah, I'd say for sure. Although I, I need to probably uh, get myself. There we go. Yeah, I think um you know with Project X, I never needed to use the speed up because I felt like I was already moving at a pretty good clip already. But in this game, you really crawl unless you use that speed up. Love this music. These guys are really hard to hit unless you've got a uh, bomb, which I don't have. This was, I believe, one of the original release games for the Super Nintendo. At least in Japan, I think it was. Uh, boss time. Oh my gosh, how how similar can you get? So 
I'm wondering at this point if easy might be too easy for me. Of course, the fact that they have an easy mode, there's something to be said for that. Double ripple off. Oh. Now I'm gonna be, gonna be kicking tires and lighting fires. Okay, so the, all these things do stack. I'm not exactly sure what I did before. To, okay, so th some things do and some things don't. You, just, you can't just go crazy. Uh oh. Jubblies. Yeah, I need that ripple back. I can't live without my ripple. So have you guys ever played this before on any platform, Gradius 3? This is it for me. I think I'm at my max power. I think anything that I could possibly add would be detrimental to my my rig. I'll say that I'm I'm, at, I'm impressed by the amount of stuff that's going on on the screen, um, but there uh, you know that nothing is moving incredibly fast. This uh, globulous uh, asteroid section is, is all right. I'm just gonna try and kill myself. Okay, so you can't actually die by walls, which I like a lot. Um, I believe that this is a one-hit kill game. Let's see. Yep, it is a one-hit kill game. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I haven't really played a whole ton of them either, but since we were playing Project X and I liked that a lot, um, and, uh, ooh, uh, I thought I would uh, give this a go. So just like Project X, when you, when you die and you go back to your normal ship, it is no fun zone. I'm going to reset this and uh, attempt it on the hard difficulty level just to see how far I can get. Let's see, reset, there you are. But just watch this intro. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? And of course you get the, uh, get the music kicking in, the fanfare. All right. So anyway, let's go to our options, change our game level to hard. And let's see how far we can get. I do need to edit my mode here. Give me the hawk wind. 
give me the vertical, the ripple, full auction, force field, and the mega crush. Let's do this. You know, there is something I think unique about the SNES sound chip because, I mean, it's it's 16-bit sound, but it sounds different than the Amiga. I'm not saying it sounds better or worse, but it just oh jeez, it just sounds different. I don't know if the SNES sound chip was a um, a custom chip or if it was an off-the-shelf chip. That seems like something I should know, but I don't. But look at the way these enemies move compared to Project X. You know, Project X, they come at you and then they go away. These, you know, shift direction a lot of the times midway through. Those don't. Those are garbage. But I guess in some of the later levels in Project X, uh, you had those sort of homing uh, things that came through. And, and they would uh, they would switch direction part way part way through. Maybe that has to do with the difficulty level too. I never tried Project X on. I guess they are they're almost only the uh, normal and hard modes. Oh jeez! All right, this might have been a mistake. Oh, the SNES wants it. Yeah, twenty games. Twenty games. <coughs> So yeah, I mean, it have been uh, hard mode might be too hard. We're gonna give this one more shot though. I believe in myself. Oh, I can't believe they don't have to do this each time. That's no good. Hey, UK retro gamer. I should have uh, waited around for the ripple. Once I feel like I can get the ripple, then I'll be doing a lot better. There's a double. Come on. Just have to inch. Closer. Ooh, okay. Now I need to speed up. Oh, lordy. Oh, so really, I should have got the speed up first. You have to have the speed up. Nice parallax effect in the uh, star field back there. Very arcade-like. I'm sure that this blew people away when it was released in 91. This hard mode is just too hard. All right, so we're done with Gradius Three. Let's uh, let's check and see what else. We just have a random list of uh, of shooters. Um, nice game over music there. Okay, so here's one that came out the same year. Oh no, this is a, uh... I don't agree with this list. How about this one? 
Yeah. This one is a 91 release. Let me load up here. Or maybe I won't. Am I spelling it wrong? Hold on. No, I just don't have it. Maybe it was not released in the United States. No, I don't know. I was going to load up Darius Twin, but I don't have that ROM. Let me down old batch of ROMs that Aaron gave me like 10 years ago. All right, let's try something else. Maybe. Let's try R-Type. R-Type 3, when did that come out? So this is a uh, 93 release, so this would have been released the same year that the special edition came out. Oh, it's because I'm looking in the wrong ROMs folder. I mean, I'm looking in the wrong legally made backups folder. I was like, what? How could I not have Darius Twin? I was looking at the... Uh, here we go. Now it's on. Proko and T had escaped from the planet Darius, which been, had been invaded by Balasar. Anything good on that list of uh, SNES games, Pixels? I didn't look and see what all was going to be included on that. Oh, this is a fish, fighting fish game. Okay, why would you not want to have eight lives? Game level, we'll stick with normal. Normal seems fair. Yeah. So this is a two-button bombing and shooting affair, and this is this is much less cool <laughs> than Gradius Three. I mean, you you got your uh, your enemy movement is just patterns, and this fish is not messing around. Music's okay. It's not great. Oh, jeez. I'll say one thing about Project X. I don't think I've ever played a game where they spend so much time on the sound design of your bullet hitting the enemy. That was really, really cool. sure what these power-ups are, are giving me. Maybe double missiles? I guess I've got like quad. So there's no real, uh, with, with rapid fire turned on for both these things, there's no reason not just to fly around with both buttons plus down. Oh yeah, looks like a great, a great mix. Super Poyo Poyo is great. Oh, jeez. 
Is there a online play on that with with these uh, pixels? Jeez. Oh, that was. Oh, I thought that was a power up. Yeah. Okay. This one not so good. Oh, so I got one guy left. We'll finish it out. I used to be a pretty good Kirby's Avalanche player, um, but my skills are not great, as great as they once were. This is, uh, it's almost kaleidoscopic the way these uh, enemies are coming in. The parallax is not nearly as good as Gradius 3. to update my thing so that was Darius twin um, that's really cool hey Chris how's it going man I'm looking forward to uh, October 31st that will be the day that I purchase my switch Speaking of Kirby's Avalanche, why don't we play a quick game of that? Kirby's Avalanche. That's the day that uh, Luigi's Mansion is coming out. That's what. It, there are two games that I always said I would buy a. Uh, a Nintendo console for if they if they came out. Uh, one was uh, Luigi's Mansion and the other was Animal Crossing. So we're getting Animal Crossing in March of next year and Luigi's Mansion 3 on October 31st. Luigi throw in shade, or not Luigi, <laughs> Kirby throw in shade at the bombing guy. I always preferred this to Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Uh, they're both Poyo Poyo clones. I'm all about setting up the big combos. Somebody that, you know, uh, if you watch the pro players, they are so good at looking ahead. Yeah. 
Wispy Woods. Did any of you guys have a golf story? Or maybe it's called Little Golf Story for the Switch? That was another game I was contemplating getting. I'm such a fan of the, uh, like, Mario Golf on the GBA and stuff. Golf Story. Is it good? Is it worth playing? That's cool. I'll probably pick that up too. I'm all about, you know, short. I love short games because I never get to finish any games. Like when I was able, actually able to finish a short hike, it was like a glorious moment. Oh, that's not good. I don't like to hear him say cool. I haven't played Overcooked. Um, I think that I own it, actually. Uh, but uh, I don't think I've ever fired it up. It's, it's, it's strictly a co-op thing, right? Can you play single-player Overcooked? Yeah, that doesn't sound as much fun. But I'm definitely looking for sort of uh, throwback golf story type games, you know. Um, retro inspired, shorter excursions. Oh yeah, Turf Masters, definitely.
Is that the same as Tetris Battle Guide in for the uh, for the Super Nintendo? There's a Japanese import, but I love that. Okay, this is either going to be awesome or not quite so awesome. I think I've already ruined it. Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. What's your guys' thoughts on Tetris 99? I guess it's free, so I should probably just get my own thoughts on it. Man, everything I'm doing is just not... not comboing. Free for online, okay. Well, I plan on getting the online, at least for a year. Just try it out. It's like 25 bucks or whatever. Oh. Happened to my cool background. I'll give Nintendo 20 bucks a year just for being around. Not that I'm a fanboy. This is where the game gets hard, by the way. Room Hilda don't play. This was one of the first games I ever saw played online with an X-Band modem. Ah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. With Tetris 99, um, you, uh, it's not, you either win or you lose, right? Like, well, I guess you get placed, but you're always in a game with 99 other people, right? Squishy.
No. Nah. No, no. Things are not going well. Hey, Dazzly. Hey, Pishbot. Rank three. I'm gonna give this, uh, I'm gonna give Squishy one more go here. Squishy. Squishy. The skins season is over before it even began, Dazzly. I've been a Skins fan there a long time, and I've seen them at the lowest of the low, and it don't get much lower. Actually, it's going to get lower next week when they play the Cowboys, and there's going to be more Cowboys fans than Redskins fans at FedEx Field. That's going to be the lowest of the low. Because even in the years where they were really, really bad, they still sold out all the time. This is going to be a new experience. All right, Chris, have fun at work. I might be still streaming. I plan on doing a lot of streaming uh, this evening. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, that was a practice game. I, I, I refuse to admit defeat. No, but I've been very interested in one, Daz. If I could get a Mr. Complete setup for 100 bucks, it'd be a done deal. Which is kind of, it's still kind of an expensive proposition. Give me something better than that. Shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's over. Well, I've met my nemesis, and his name is Squishy. One more time. Squishy. Squishy. I wish I could have been that guy that said that. Okay. This time, it's going down for real. How's things in Scotland, Pishbot? Are they still awesome over there? Just the Scottish in general? Don't tell me they've lost their awesome cred. This is uh, Kirby's Avalanche for the Super Nintendo Judge West. This is a uh, Puyo Puyo clone.
Ah! Killed by my own incompetence. Story of my life. Come on. I'm always just like one thing away. Look at this setup. It's a killer setup. I just gotta learn how to capitalize on it. Squishy is, is a force to be reckoned with, but not today. We're done with Squishy. All right, let's switch systems. Now we're going to play... This is a game I've been wanting to try for a long time because Aaron's brought it up a couple couple times. This is the first official sequel of Donkey Kong. Uh, of course, in the arcades, you know, Donkey Kong was followed by Donkey Kong Jr. and Donkey Kong 3. But the original Donkey Kong itself did not get a sequel until this game for the Game Boy. And uh, this is... Uh, So I'm kind of interested to check this out, see what it's like. Of course, I'm playing it through the uh, Super Game Boy. This was one of the earliest titles to have uh, specific Super Game Boy support. So if you plug this into a Super Nintendo with the Super Game Boy um, adapter, you could play Game Boy games in glorious color. Yes, I, I, I hear you. It's a scary times with the, with the whole Brexit thing. So, so far, so similar. Get the uh, rarely seen pie factory level, which I've recently read that the Japanese devs found it quite amusing that it was nicknamed the pie factory level. Um, because uh, it's clearly a cement factory. Oh boy. So really, I gotta try for that one up over there. Now, one thing that's different, I've noticed immediately about this version of Donkey Kong, is that there is uh, 
there's um, no fall damage. So you can jump more than Mario's height and not die. Which is one of the things that always annoys me about early arcade games. I, any game that you, that you get fall damage, I just don't like. Yeah, Pie Factory Podcast is great. Um, uh, what's his name that does that? Uh, Sean. Am I on the right track here? I've talked to him several times. He's a big Beach Boys fan too, just like me, so. We got a lot in common. Yeah, I was trying to think of Sean's last name, I couldn't think of it. There we go. Sean Courtney. There we go. How are you, Steve? Hope things are going well for you this evening. Boy, these fireballs start to multiply quickly. That would kill you immediately in the arcade version. Unfortunately, now, okay. Let's give that up. What? Oh! I missed my, uh... I missed that last girder. I thought I was in like Flynn. Yeah. This is so much easier because of the lack of fall damage. <laughs> if you get cornered, you can just like, uh, Jump away. It's also kind of cool how you can catch the hammer in mid throw. Oh my gosh. Guys, I need you to get over here. Over here. Alright, you can stay there. Boom. So ends the arcade game. See where we go next. It does kind of bother me a little bit that they um, cut off the top of the screen so you can't fully see the marquee, like the Donkey Kong logo. Yeah. So this is this is definitely a Mario versus Donkey Kong type vibe with the key and stuff. One of my favorite GBA games. When I first got a GBA, I bought two games. I bought Advance Wars 2 and Mario versus Donkey Kong. Oh save. Huh. Okay. So when you play the original game, it's uh you got the original game, but then you've got all this this other stuff here. Interesting. So this really is like Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I thought that was an original concept, but... Oh, I'm glad to be a service, Judge West. What are you coding at the moment? Oh, you know what else I'm looking forward to, guys, on the Switch? Freaking, um, um, Link's Awakening. I cannot wait for that, because that is my favorite Zelda game. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's cool. Is that out soon, Pix? I didn't I didn't know when that was being released. I read some early reports, and by read I mean I listened to on Giant Bomb, that the frame rate was not excellent. But it could have been changed, and maybe it's gotten better. I'll tell you, 
when it comes to just raw playability, the Game Boy is just such a cool system. I mean, and it's original guys with that fuzzy green screen. Like, it's it's hard to go back to, but the games themselves, when you play on an emulator and everything's super sharp. Plus the, uh, the music on the Game Boy. I think the audio chip on the Game Boy is better than the audio chip on the, uh, the GBA. All right. How do I get up there? Well, I guess I'll do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, 11 days. Interesting. I'll grab that one up. Come up here. Tomorrow, I am off school. I have an eye doctor appointment. And so... Oops. That's the end of me. Well, I guess I didn't actually die there. That time I'm pretty... Yeah, I did. I'll be watching some. I already played some Beneath the Seal Sky. And I'll be watching a playthrough to see what I missed. But it's a pretty cool game. You know, it definitely fits that same sort of uh, uh, time travelers. Oh, shoot. What's the name of that game I'm thinking of? The point and click game where you travel through time. Time Lords? That might be a different thing. I have not played Jurassic Park on the Game Boy. Is it like the, uh... Oh, jeez. I don't even know what happened to the key there. I must be going about this the wrong way. Future Wars. There we go. The, very art, the art style is very similar to Future Wars, however, the, uh... The, um the actual engine, the uh, interface, is much, much better. Oh, okay, is it, so is, is it sort of like the Amiga version? Or at least the part of the Amiga version that's not the first person shooter? You know what's a great game that we might need to play next is, uh, oh my gosh, I did it again. I did the exact same thing. Um, is uh, Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins. Has anybody played that before on the venerable Game Boy? You know, Super Mario Land 1 was, uh, um, was a Hallmark game gaming uh, game <laughs> achievement but Mario Land 2 was uh, was the best of the bunch um, it, it truly looked like a Mario game uh, not like a Game Boy Mario game there we go Boss world. It's like a game and watch type thing here. Oh, 
Oh, get up. Flattened. Yeah, I need to jump when he jumps, as it were. Ooh, just made it. Just made it. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I'll be able to beat uh, Mario Land 2. So, uh watch the full full run through. I'll probably take a quick streaming break. Um, ten minutes or so. Prepare myself a little refreshment and then dive into that. That'll be a fun one to do. Out of the way, Mario. Wait. I might do for um would you guys this is just a an informal poll if you were uh if you were interested in watching me play uh euro truck simulator or elite dangerous what uh which of those two would you would you find uh be more enjoyable because i was thinking about doing one or the other as a late night modern gaming Adventure. One vote for Elite Dangerous. All right, Elite Dangerous it is. Euro Truck Simulator gets no love. It's been a while since I fired up the old Elite. Ah, you know, I, that was the reason why I bought this computer. I bought this this desktop before we started. Oh. not understanding what's going on here but I bought this computer to play elite um, I was so impressed by those uh, those early reports yeah Right at the one hour mark. Um, so I went ahead and saved my game if I ever want to come back to it. I'm going to take about a 10 minute break and uh, play uh, Super Mario Land 2 six golden coins. So um, feel free to uh, stick around and, uh, and, and hang out. I'll, I'll be back soon. Adios.